NPM is the default package manager for Node.js. It's the home for thousands of open source libraries. We're gonna learn how to publish our own view component onto the NPM registry. And we're gonna use Vite to build our library and then look at the specific Vite settings that we need in order to publish. So let's start off by creating our project with NPM init Vite and selecting view. Since we're not creating a full scale application, but rather a component library, we can actually clear out our entire source folder. And for our simple example, we'll only need two files, index.js, and let's create a components folder that has learn view button.view. And this is the component that we're going to be using. So let's create our component. I'm going to keep it super simple. Let's just create a button with a class of LV button. And inside we'll create a slot so we can accept all different types of template content. And we'll add some styles on our button, like setting our background to learn views green color and removing the outline and border. And the way that I'm building out this component library, I want it to be used as a global plugin. And what this might look like in projects that use it is in the main.js file, we can say app.use and then the name of our library. So to create our V3 plugin, let's define our export default. And then we have to define an install option with an app argument. We want to register our learn view button as a global component using app.component, setting the name of our component to learn view button, and then passing in our actual learn view button component. And that's all the code for our plugin itself. Next, let's open vite.config.js and to find what happens when our Vite builds. And to do this, I'm going to be going off the Vite documentation and there will be a link to that down in the description. But in short, we want to define a build property that specifies our build settings. And first we'll add a lib property since we want to create a library. We'll set the entry of our app to be path.resolve, our directory name, and then source slash index.js, which if you recall to the last section is where we actually define our install method for our plugin. We'll set the name of our library to LV button, and then we'll specify the file name for the format and set it equal to format.js. So it will create the ES file. So if we're importing a module using import, but it'll also create the UMD file in case this library is being used in a common JS format where we're using require. Next in our build property, we want to define some of the rollup options. And rollup is a module bundler that Vite uses to compile its code. We want to make sure that we externalize our dependencies so they aren't bundled into our library. And for us, we can do that with an external property and pass in an array with the string of view, then also defining an output property, a globals object, and setting view to view. And this provides the global variables to use in our UMD build. Finally, since we're creating a library, let's go ahead and redo our package.json. We want to specify the name, our files into our dist, which is where Vite will put the build version of our app. We can specify our version, and then we also want to set main and module. Main is the one used by CommonJS, and it will go to our slash dist LV button, which is the name of our project, dot umd dot js and module, which is used for ESM imports. And we want it to map to our es.js file. This next section is super important, and it's where we define some of the entry points for our app, and it's called exports. We'll set it equal to an object and by default or just dot we want import which is the esm syntax to go to the appropriate file and we want require to go to the umd file also since we want our styles bundled in the app we're going to map dot slash disk slash style dot css to the same file in our folder and that's all the setup we need if we run vite build we'll see that it creates a folder called dist and if we open that up we can see exactly what vite builds it creates two lv button files and then also our style dot css and this maps perfectly to the different entry points that we defined. So now that we've built our simple view component, we can go ahead and publish it. But first, let's actually see how to test this out locally, because obviously you don't want to have to actually publish your library anytime you want to test your changes. And we can do this using npm link, which creates a link to your local module. So to use this, let's open up a terminal, go to the root directory of our library and run npm link. Then inside another V project, for example, we can run npm link LV button, and this will create a link to our local module. So any changes we make there, will be reflected in this project. But if we want to actually publish our package, we can run npm login. And then finally, we can say npm publish and set the access to public. So I went ahead and did this. And as you can see, the package is live. We can now use this inside of a project. So I'll open up another view project and run npm install LV button. Then in our source slash main.js, we want to import learn view button from LV button. And we also want to import our CSS to make sure that our app is using it. Then we can simply say app.use learn view button. Since that runs the install method that we defined earlier, our actual button is now a global component inside of this Vite app. So inside of app.view, we can just go ahead and say learn view button 
button pass in hello world and we're using the component that we made in our library this is a really simplified example but it's pretty easy to see how it's extracted to a larger component library for example let's look at aruga ui which is a lightweight library of view ui components if we go into packages aruga next which is their v3 version we can see that they're also using rollup which Vit is using behind the hood and inside of this entries they're defining the different entry points for their file then if we go to source components and go to any of these folders index.ts file you can see that they're also using a variation of install that registers a global component wherever this specific file is imported i highly recommend going through this repo because it gives you a pretty good sense of how a large scale repository structures their imports to allow for better tree shaking but hopefully this video gave you at least a high level overview of how to set up v to publish to npm and if it did don't forget to like and subscribe for more view content and happy coding